Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a fantastic day and as always, I will always hope and pray that you have nothing but fantastic days only. All right, now let's get started. So fun fact number 30, actress slash actor review 10. I am doing Grace. I do not know how to pronounce her last name. My apologies, but I will spell it out for you. So it's S-A-I-F, all right? I do not like mispronouncing people's names, first name, middle name, last name, because I just think it's rude, all right? But that's how you spell her last name, all right? Now, surprisingly, she does have a Wikipedia page because her first breakout role was in 2019, so that wasn't that long ago. So I was very surprised to find out she had a Wikipedia Wikipedia page, all right? But the usual, I went over there and I pulled some facts about her, so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about her, all right? Now, the first thing is she was born on October 7, 1995. She is British. She is best known for the Netflix series 13 Reasons Why, which is now canceled, okay? She was born and grew up in Manchester, all right? Her first ever debut acting was in, was in a, wait, <laughs> her first Acting debut was a short film called Wilton, all right? She faced online bullying from social media outlets when she was on 13 Reasons Why, while she was on 13 Reasons Why, and I will explain that later on, all right? And last but not least, she has been in other movies, TV shows, theater, and she did appear in a video game, all right? So those are all the facts that you should know about this actress, all right? So I'm going to only talk about 13 Reasons Why because that's what she is best known for. That was her breakout role, okay? 2019 is when she is when she made her appearance on there, okay? And she was in season three and season four. It's four seasons altogether. So in season one and season two, she was not there, but season three and season four, she was, Okay. Her character's name is Ani. I do not know how to pronounce um the, her last name, but just know her character's name was Ani, okay? Now, I'll tell you where the backlash came from, all right? I'll start off with that, all right? Now, wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, I'll start off with that. And then I'll just tell you a little bit about Ani. I'm not going to give spoilers or anything like that because if you've never seen this show, I'm not going to tell you too much about this character. And if you are currently watching it and you are not on the, you are not at the season where she was on, then of course I'll make sure I do not give you too, I do not give too much stuff away, too much info away and spoil it before you even get to it. All right. And of course, like I said, if you just haven't seen it, then of course I'm not going to, going to spoil it for you at all. You have to go watch it yourself, all right? But anyway, so the backlash came from Ani being on the show, okay? And she was narrating season three, all right? That was when she first came on the show, okay? Usually, Clay is the one who narrates it, okay? He narrates the show, and he has been since season one. He just didn't do it for season three, all right? Now, Ani was kind of like... I'll say she was annoying. It's a Bryce's house. The guy you have to talk about. Does he have a lawyer? Yeah. And I do think the writers, that was the writer's fault. Like, how does she know all this? I feel like they could have explained it more because it did look like she came out of nowhere and just and just knew everything. That's one thing about this show I didn't like is that they'll bring characters and then they'll just like either A, write them off completely. You have no clue what happened to them. Or they'll be just make it seem like they've been here this whole time and just know everything. You know what I mean? So Ani was one of those characters who fell right into that, right into that narrative that they did. Okay? She just she was just a character who was really like, how do you know this? Like, how do you know Bryce and all the things he's done? How do you know all this? Unless they were they met her during the summer or something. You know what I mean? I feel like they could have explained something a little bit more. I think that would have made the audience less annoyed by her. All right. So like I said, she did not stay in her lane. You she see was as anything but a monster. Business. She wanted to know everything. She was basically just acting like Clay was in season one. He was and so they drive you to kill yourself. And sooner or later, he wanted. He wants to know what happened to Hannah. So that his was understandable. Clay doing it was way under, way more, way more understandable because Hannah was his girlfriend and he loved Hannah a lot. He just wanted to know what happened to her. And he did anything until he until he like figured it all out. I begged so you, please, Ani Bryce, but you told me to relax. Ani was kind of different because she didn't have a motive for it. You know what I mean? She really didn't have a motive for what she was doing. It was kind of just like, like she's just being nosy, basically. You know what I mean? But I do think they could have just explained that more. So that was really the writer's fault for doing that. For just, just for giving us this brand new character that we never seen before. And if you read the book, you didn't read about Ani. So it's like, okay, where does she come from? You know what I mean? And then you let her narrate the season. You know what I mean? So I guess I can understand some of those fans and why they were upset about it. But here's the thing. 
some of them were being racist, okay? Some of them were being complete racist, okay? Because I think the uh, audience for this show is predominantly white people. I think they're the ones who really watch this show. I'm not saying that black and brown kids do not watch this, but I think mostly white people watch this, okay? And they were being racist now, okay? I understand that you're annoyed with Ani, the character, and um, I don't know why. See, this one thing the fans did, they did this on season one. So I remember when the show first started, I did tell you the show got backlash, but I didn't talk about the characters. But I remember the fictional characters, Bryce Walker, Monty, Justin, Courtney, Ryan, Marcus, Sherry, and whoever else, people were giving them backlash a lot. I want to say another word, but I don't want to get in trouble, <laughs> all right? But the fans were giving them backlash like crazy. And they were attacking the actresses and the actors. It's like, you guys, separate them. These are not, they are not their characters. Some people are just so good at acting that you just forget to separate it. You instantly will lump it together. You'll be like, mm-mm. <coughs> Excuse me. You'll be like, uh-uh. No, no. And they were calling, they were calling the guy who's playing uh, Bryce Walker, I forgot his name. It starts with Justin. I can't pronounce his last name. People were calling him a rapist. So I'm like, no, guys, Bryce is a rapist. The guy who's playing the guy in real life is not. Don't lump these together. You know, he's not a rapist. Bryce is, you know what I mean? And I think fans just had a hard time doing that. It is hard because when you're such a good actor or a good actress, it is easy for people to do that. You know what I mean? so, playing myself. Season one, really... And you know <laughs> those actresses and actors they were giving they were oh god i want to say another word so bad i'm gonna get in trouble i want to say it so bad but they were giving them they were applying pressure on them okay I'll, I'll just tell you that they were applying so much pressure on them they were like no i don't like none of you okay so um <laughs> i forgot what i was about to say but um so yes, that's that's how their fans were to season one. Like those characters were terrible. Okay, so I I was completely with them. Those characters were completely terrible. Okay, now Ani is like like I don't I don't really get it. Like yeah, she wouldn't stay in her lane. Yes, she was being annoying, but I didn't get it. Like she wasn't nowhere near as bad as these other characters in season one. She's an angel. If you really want to do comparisons, she's like an angel. You know what I mean? So I didn't really get it. Now, the racism, I wasn't feeling that at all. I mean, there's no reason to be racist. I mean, you don't need to be talking about our hair and all that. Like, stop being racist, all right? And some of those were, all right? And I'll try to go back and see if I can look any of those up again because they were being racist, okay? But at the end of the day, fans have to understand this, this doesn't just apply to this show. This applies to any movie, any show. Stop Thinking, stop lumping the person who's playing the character. These are not, they are not, what's the word? How do you say this? Not, forget it, I can't pronounce it. But these are not the same. Like, he is not this character, she is not this character. Those are two different things. Learn to separate it, okay? Ani is not Grace. They are not the same people, okay? She's playing a character that's not her in real life, okay? Fans need to stop doing that. Stop thinking these are hand in hand with each other they're not you're just playing a character you'll play this character for this show for this or this movie and then you jump out of that character go back to being yourself again all right so yeah so like i said the backlash was stupid because i don't even think ani was that bad of a character you know what i mean i didn't mind her narrating i get tired of clay you know <laughs> clay is very tiring i get tired of him narrating you know and i'm all about representation i love to see a moderation black girl be able to narrate and lead a, a season for a popular show like this especially considering that all the popular teen shows nowadays never really are diverse it's usually just white people maybe one black person one indigenous person maybe if we get lucky we get two you know, we get three, you know what I mean? But most of the shows are not really diverse. So I love to see a monoracial black girl, you know, that's not racially ambiguous since that's what Hollywood loves to cast, you know, and she gets to lead this. She gets to have her type four hair, brown skin and all that gets to lead this and, you know, and just does a good job at it. Yes, she didn't stay in her lane. Yes, she was annoying. But all of that kind of didn't matter to me because I'm all about representation, okay? So I really did love that. I love seeing that. I love that they did not give you that normal casting, give you Zendaya or Amanda Steinberg lookalikes, you know what I mean? So I liked it. So I, I personally didn't care that much, all right? Representation to me is everything, all right? As you can tell, all right? And again, the backlash was just stupid. 
It was just stupid, okay? It was just completely stupid to me. It was very unnecessary. And of course, I'm not, snap. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like racist people, like people who just spur, how do you say it? Jesus, people who, who spread hatefulness. I just, I just hate people who do that. Do not spread hatefulness towards anybody. None of that was necessary. And the fact that she deleted all her social media accounts was even worse because it's like, I'm trying to figure out who this new black actress is. Can't find her because the social media accounts are deleted. And that's because of fans. You know, you guys made her delete all her social media. I can't even get to look into who this character is, who this person is. This is a new black actress that could possibly be huge in black Hollywood or Hollywood in general. Since Hollywood doesn't like to bring more black actresses and actors front and center, they always like to recycle the same ones. So... I feel like she was like a brand new actress, you know what I mean? And I really wanted to like, really get to see who she is, you know what I mean? Because I'm only seeing her on the show. And like I said, how you look on a show or a movie is not how you really look in real life. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. I don't know if that made sense, but you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, so... So thanks to them, I couldn't even I couldn't even get to see her outside of the show until about maybe early 2020. You know what I mean? I don't I think she stayed off until I think the whole 2019 <clears throat> or at least the rest of it. All right. So, yes, yeah, as you can tell that affected her, which I completely understand being attacked like that just for playing a character that's not even you. Yes, that can get very annoying. OK, people are literally attacking you and then some of them are just being plain racist. So. Yeah. Now, um, I don't know what the people did for the first season when they were being attacked. I think they did delete their accounts probably. They probably did or they probably just wrote messages and like, you guys, come on, chill out. I'm just playing a character. You know what I mean? But I'll try to find all that stuff again. All right. <coughs> but anyway. All right. Now, again, guys, I know I kind of just told you a lot about Ani, but I only told you about season three her. I will not discuss season four Ani because I, like I said, I said I wasn't going to spoil it or do any of that. And, of course, I kind of just did all that. But, sorry. But just know Ani is in season four. And then the show comes to an end. Um, She does not narrate it anymore. Okay? They went back to Clay, letting Clay narrate it. She's still there. She's still a main character. Okay? She did. They did have to cool her down a little bit. Don't give her too much screen time. Thanks, fans. Thanks a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. But that's all I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to keep giving spoilers. All right. I just told you too much about this character. All right. But sorry. I do like Ani a lot. OK, as you can tell, Ani is one of my favorite characters. I, hon I honestly don't care about the backlash because I like Ani. OK, I like representation. I like Ani. You know, she's really a good character. All right. But anyway, let me shut up about Ani. OK, let me not tell you nothing else. OK, but anyway, so that's that. OK, now. Here's what I expect, or here's what I want, excuse me. Here's what I want from this actress in the future. Now that this show has come to a, fi a final end, one of my favorite shows, been watching this since ninth grade. Now that this show's come to an end, and of course, she's off of the show, because the show is over, duh. <laughs> I do hope to see her in another hit show. <coughs> excuse me. Come on, don't start. Um, I do hope to see her in another show or another movie. Um... Pretty soon, actually. You know, I know COVID's going on, so I know maybe it's probably hard to get roles and stuff right now because you got COVID still going on. Some places are doing, like, harsh restrictions, and um, some stuff is probably still shut down. Well, I don't know. Some places, a lot of places seem to have opened back up. I guess the pandemic's over, okay? I guess it came to an end, all right? But, um... So I know COVID, so maybe that could be the reasoning, but hopefully she is looking for new stuff to do now. Um, hopefully I'll see her on a new show excuse me, or a new movie or something. You know what I mean? Hopefully I just see her again. Hopefully she can be the main character, be front and center. I hope so. I hope some black filmmakers did see her on this show and did see the, the excellence she did on this show. Okay. Cause on this show, it wasn't too many like black people on the show rather than Marcus and Sherry, but they were just written off. <laughs> okay. So she was the only black person. I mean, I would say Mr. Porter, but 
he was gone. All right. So she was really the only black person on the show. So hopefully she did stand out to some black filmmakers. They see her and maybe cast her in one of their stuff. Because I really do think she would do. I really think she is a good actress. I think she really proved that a lot on this show. But hopefully her acting got out to some people. Maybe some directors saw her. Well, maybe think about casting her in something else. Because I really do want to see her in something else. I really do. I just want to see her in a movie, show, whatever. Anything is fine. I just want to see this actress again. All right, because she really is a good actress. Okay, so that's what I would hope for in the future. Hopefully, these new things are coming her way. Okay, but anyway, that's the end of this review. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, give it a thumbs down if you didn't. Do not comment anything because you can't. <laughs> okay, that's YouTube doing that. They keep turning my comments off. I really do not, I really don't know why. I think it's the algorithm or something. I don't really know why they keep cutting my comments off. All right, but if you can comment on this, that's great. If you can't, I'm so sorry. All right, now I am starting a new section. I've made it to number 10. I do not know the section I'm starting. I will figure it out and you will know the next time I come back. All right, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this video though. Okay, I love you guys so much. Peace out.